Hi, my name is Gary Canillo and I am the United Nations Resident Coordinator in Jamaica. In countries where PrEP has been used, we've seen significant decreases in the risk of uh, HIV AIDS for individuals who use PrEP. It's uh, obvious that we have to contextualize and make sure that it's part of a broader package of services and instruments that are available to individuals. But when used consistently with a whole host of other uh, instruments, including education, information, condoms, and so on, it is a useful add-on to help prevent the transmission of HIV. So well, in every context, it will provide individuals with more options and a comprehensive package of opportunities for them to exercise their sexual reproductive health rights while protecting themselves against and protecting their partners against unwanted transmission of HIV. So usually PRESP is used in complementary to a whole set of other tools and instruments as part of a greater campaign to make sure that people and individuals have options. By adding PrEP as a valuable input into the overall array of options, you're providing individuals with opportunities to make more informed choices that adjust to the realities of their own circumstances. I think in two significant ways. First, informed use. Make sure the individual has all the information that is required around the usage, around the timeliness, around uh, uh, potential side effects. It's really about informed decision making. This is not something that you get advice from a friend. From You really make sure that you have all the required information. The second element, of course, is, is consistency. You need to make sure that individuals who decide to use this method are using it in a consistent manner. These are the two, I think, important elements to consider if one decides to use this option. Now, obviously, as we said early on, this has to be brought part of a broader way of services and technology that's made available to potential clients, potential users, including, of course, other methods that will serve to prevent other forms of uh, sexually transmitted disease. Well, countries like Jamaica that are committed to uh, SDG3, ensuring universal access to care, are, should actually invest in providing individuals with a wide array of options in order to protect themselves and their families. And PrEP, of course, allows um, individuals to have a broad choice of options that allows them to adjust these options to their, uh, to their way of life. SDG 3, uh, ending uh, AIDS by 2030, requires that individuals have a right away of choices and options to be able to influence their behaviors and reduce the risk of transmission. PrEP is one of the many instruments that are being made available to individuals so that they can make informed decisions and informed choices. In that way, taking us a step closer to ending AIDS. My name is Gary Canil, reminding you to be prepared. Oh, 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 oh,